Because he's saying, exactly. You're going right back to the weight. 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 You, we already agreed that everybody has their demons, but you're going right back to the weight. Bro, you're saying that you exactly. You don't have the energy. No, you said would no, no, no. How did this conversation start? You said I would. Would you rather be me? And I said I'd rather not be you. I'd rather have more money than be you. I answered a question, and you're still down and on my weight. Bro, I'm I'm just telling you how it is, how I see you. I'm telling you, like, the when I see this nigga in front of me on this camera, I'm like, damn. And I say like, the same thing. Hmm. I do the exact same thing. When you I get on the like camera and I see you, I go, damn. Yeah, you look like you did something important, but I don't, I don't believe that right. you Right, and you look like you haven't done anything. That's my it's point. So we're, we're, we have different I, perspectives. It, it, it but you're That's taking it. it you're taking it more personal than I am. I agreed. Hold on. You're taking it more personal because I agreed that I have a weight problem. But I said, OK, but if you gave me the option to be fat and still make the money I do, I would not pick you. I would not pick to be you. If you gave me the option to be Elon Musk, I would pick me every fucking day. Fuck that. nigga. OK. It's just okay. It sounds like you yeah. just make. And dumb. you know what? Elon Musk looks at Instagram what every day and gets sad because he's not pretty. I don't. And I know that what does this got to do with here, Elon? And you probably get this sad is, too. I don't care about Nikki, Elon. This is about pretty. you Quit and I. Forever. I don't care about Elon. We're talking about us. Yeah. Yup. Okay, so just be so. I you want me to be ashamed that I care about money and taking care of my family, and you don't care about it that much. <laughs> No, I want you to be ashamed about your weight. That's basically it. So why do you, you have, Why do you want me to? Why, so what do you want me to say? Like, what shame do you want me? Hold on, man. Let me. You said something. Let me finish. What do you want me to feel ashamed? What do you want me to do? Get on here and cry and bitch. I mean, what is that going to do today? Get up in the morning. I've already lost a hundred pounds. What else do you need me to keep doing? Another hundred. I don't know. Thank you, but I'm already doing the work. So what? What do you want me to feel? I'm what? looking at the work. I'm sir, no, sir, work. listen, Thank listen. You. Hold on, no. Use, use your intellect. You're, you're, you're a smart man. If I've already lost 100 pounds and I'm still in the process of losing more weight, what shame do you want me to feel? I'm that already doing the work. That you got to this point, what? So you want me to feel shame for the rest of my life even though I'm already doing the work? you to get past the point where people are like damn bro you look kind of heavy like oh no fuck I, that oh I, you're crazy you're crazy Yo, you're out. crazy because if people will because no man because no 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 you're crazy if you think i'm gonna live my life if you think about the live my life every single day and be like oh well people still think i'm heavy and just do bro, nothing we can't hit you in a coffin my nigga lose some weight motherfucker i've lost a hundred pounds lose more okay Why? can i Listen, you, off, listen, like, you cannot be this pounds, stupid. Bro. You cannot be this stupid. Off, like, how do you, do you want me to lose 100 pounds tomorrow? How did you lose? No, no, how listen. No, sir. That? Listen, use your head for a second. Get away from the insults. Please just get away from the insults because you're not using your head. You're a black man. You're not doing a very good job of representing yourself. If I've already lost 100 pounds and I'm still in the process of losing more, what good does it to say I'm going to be in a coffin? Am I supposed to give up on life at this point? No, you're you, no, because all you keep saying is lose weight. I'm all, hold on, hold on. You keep saying I'm already losing weight. I'm already losing weight. I can't at every second be doing something constantly that's going to drop another 100 pounds tomorrow, right? Right. Have you ever been overweight? Never. Then what the fuck are you talking about? You have no idea what it's like to do this shit. You have zero idea. You have zero idea. You're saying you have a food addiction. My right. Sounds like you but, had okay. Life. Okay. So if somebody's sober off of cocaine for two years, you're gonna be like, "But you used cocaine two years ago. So you should still be ashamed. It's stupid." You're, you're not, the only you're difference not, between me. Not, no, hold on. The only difference between me and a cocaine addict is that you can see this in front of your face. But a cocaine addict, you have no idea what they're going through because they may not be what fat. You're assuming if a person is not fat, they're not going through shit. That's what I'm saying. Just because you can still see my weight doesn't mean I've made no progress. That's my if point. If someone is using cocaine, I know they have money to afford cocaine. If somebody is 400 pounds, I know they had money to afford food. Okay. So whatever struggles in your life, you were able to get the thing that made you whatever, you know, discombobulated being that you are. Me, I didn't have the option to do cocaine growing up. 
I didn't have the option to overeat growing up. Sorry. Okay, sir, but my point is you're trying to come from a place you don't understand. You would not talk to somebody who was a cocaine addict like this if you never used drugs. You, would get, you wouldn't get it. That's all I'm trying to explain to never you. All you can say is, up oh, the weight's not off. That's just oh, like going to another addict and saying, oh, my God, why are you not five years clean already? It's stupid. It's more like, why did you use it in the first place? Oh, my God. What happened? <laughs> who cares? Who cares why it happened? It's the what same. Okay. 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 So if somebody, if why a woman, I, let me ask you a question. If a woman has a baby out of wedlock, are you just going to, if a woman has a baby out of wedlock, would you shame her for the rest of her life? Okay. Thank you. Because all you're going to do is say, why did it happen? Okay. Why so we've already been over why it happened. What's the, or your camera froze. Hold on, your camera's frozen. Uh, so, I just want you to use a little bit of logic instead of just saying, well, why, how, why'd you get there? Who cares at this point? It is what it is. I can't go back. You can't. You can just set a good example for others. I, I, I am. That was the losing 100 pounds. I put that up all over the internet. What else could, do you want me to do? Go save humanity? You want me to go save some cats in a burning fire? What do you want me to do? I've done it all in front of these people. What else do you need me to do? Why do these fuck? Why do we have to be superheroes? You want me to do every damn thing? It's not everything. But I've already done what you've asked, so right. you're still going on that. So because you have lost a hundred pounds, and I did that in front of people, not- showing a good example, right? Showing, hey man, I, I, I messed up. I got here. I'm fixing myself. That's nothing. Just tell me that. Is that something so, or nothing? All right. Let's say a, a, in, an individual sells a hundred pounds of fentanyl in the streets of Los Angeles, but then they stop selling fentanyl and they become a cop and they get 50 pounds of fentanyl off the streets. Are we going to say, oh, you know what? That 50 pounds of fentanyl that you got off the street is going to bring back the lives of the people who What died else do you want him to do? What else do you want him to do? Before. That's my point. You want people to stay ashamed forever. They can't change. Voices and the responsibility of somebody He already took responsibility. He became a cop. Your, your Your example is horrible. Overweight. Your example was horrible because you talked about a man. You said you want him to take responsibility. He took responsibility, became a cop, and tried to get some of the drugs off the streets. And you're still being like, but you sold 100. So you're the kind of person, you're the kind of person nobody can change at all. No, I'm saying that you got to go so far in the other direction for somebody to care. You telling me I lost 100 pounds and I can tell you're still over 250. I don't give a fuck. You Thank you. That's my you point. That's you my point. You life. want me to stay ashamed like I can't live my life. You don't want me to get on camera because I'm fat, right? No, no, no. Let me ask you that. Would you prefer me not to get on camera because I'm still fat? No. Answer that question, brother. Would you prefer me not to get on camera because I'm still fat? Yeah. Thank you. That's all I needed to hear. So you want me to stay ashamed. You want me to just go hide in the dark. Well, sorry, brother. That shit ain't going to happen. It ain't never going to happen. No, the discussion's over at this point. The discussion's over. I hope you... But the discussion's over. You're still yelling. The discussion's over. You want me to go hide in the dark. I'm not doing that shit. Good luck. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. Okay, good job. Good good job. You, good job representing us black people great. Good job. Great job. Guys, who needs white supremacy when you got a man like this? Why do you need white supremacy when you got a man like this? He's the same kind of, he would be the white guy back in the day. Be like, you black people can never be anything great. No matter what you do, you will always be this. Exactly. Thank you. No, thank you. You, No, brother. No, brother. Brother, you made your point. You made your point. You want me to hide in the dark. There's nothing else you can say. You just want me to hide in the dark. You've you've made your point. Okay. You have a good night. You just want fat people to hide in the dark.
Okay, I got it. I want them to no, do better. No, 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 no. You don't even want them to get on camera and live life. You want them to hide in the dark. So, no, it's all good, brother. You made your point. There's nothing you can say to defend yourself. You've already made your point. You've already made your point. You've already made your point. And you're moving way too fast for your camera to handle the frames. So you're blurring out and freezing. Your camera can't handle the frames, brother. You've got to quit. Your camera can't handle the frames per second. You're moving too fast. You're moving too fast for your camera to work, sir. You've got to stay still. Your camera cannot handle your frames per second. You keep freezing. Okay? How many times I got to tell you that? Okay, your camera can't handle the frames per second when you move that quickly. It is blurry and you keep freezing. So slow the fuck down. Not moving so much because I can't really hear you, nor can I see you when you move that quickly because your camera can't handle it. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, we're done. You see my point, people? And I'm going to put that clip up. I'm going to put that clip up. Because he, when the reason I mentioned the white supremacy thing, the reason I brought up that thing, my analogy for that was it's the same thing that if a person can never improve. It is the same thing you would hear back in the day if a white person or somebody who was racist, doesn't have to be white, was to say, uh, these black people will never be anything. When we were wearing suits and ties and the slavery was over in the 60s, we were trying to be respectable. We were trying to go to church. We were trying to do all of this. Because they were calling us animals, right? If y'all don't, well, obviously y'all don't remember that. But if you read up on it, that they called us animals. They called us less than men. But they could never portray us as animalish or clowns in their movies. Why? Because black men decided to start wearing nice attire, going to church, building a family. So no matter how much you try to make fun of us, there's no way you could say that about black people at that time because. You didn't see anything like that. So even people who were against blacks were like, uh, you might be saying that, but they are going to church. They are dressing nice. They are trying to build businesses. Uh, you can't sit here and say they're just dumb idiots. Okay. Cause clearly they're not, they're building families. Look at their kids. Look at how their kids dress. They're nice. They're clean. So we can't just call them animals. That shit just don't work. So my point being is yes, I'm overweight. But what he said is just because I'm fat, I should not be allowed to even step on the camera. And that, my friend, is bullshit. I would never tell anybody just because you're going through stuff not to hop on camera. Because there are people every day who are going through something mentally and they hop on YouTube. They hop on stream. You think if you, you, there's people who have done drugs and tried to get clean and they have to do it on camera. They have to do it in front of people. I've met plenty of people who've had to get sober and they have to show their addiction to the fucking world when they have the shakes, when their skin is peeling, when they have all the scabs, they still have the marks on them. I had a buddy who got high, had four or five years clean. Can't remember which, but he had four or five years clean, went back out, started doing meth, came back into the rooms and had to fucking figure it out and get clean again in front of all of us after we have watched him be sober. We had to watch him struggle to talk. We had to watch him shake. And it took him a while to get clean again. But my point is, I'm struggling with an addiction. But that shouldn't mean I cannot get on camera simply because I've struggled with an addiction. I, that doesn't mean I can't get on here and try to tell you guys, hey, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm doing two hours of cardio every day. I'm doing what I can. It makes no sense for me to be like, well, I guess I shouldn't get on camera because I'm fat, right? I move my camera back so y'all can see my full body and see my full fat belly to learn how to cope with this, to show you guys my scars, to show you guys that even though I struggle, I still try every day. My whole purpose of my fucking channel is what can I change? I have struggled with this since the very beginning of the video, but you guys have seen me go from homeless to, to this. You guys have seen me be evicted. You guys have seen me lose my homes. You guys have seen me go through college. You guys have seen a lot on this channel. You guys watched me lose my fiance in front of my face, okay? Y'all watched all of this shit. But yet I still came back to this camera. To show you guys the battle scars and the problems I have. That's what men do. That's what men do. I hate to keep going back to the Bible. But Peter, 
went back to Jesus. King David went back to God after what he did to that man's woman. He took another man's wife and he had to come back to his kingdom. He was still King David. He still had to show his face. We cannot live our life in full shame. And to go back to the fentanyl thing, somebody who put 100 pounds of fentanyl on the streets and many people died. And the man said, damn it, I fucked up. And he goes back. He goes to go be an officer in a world that that could even happen. And he decides to get 50 pounds off the streets. You cannot then go to this man and be like, well, you're, you're still shit. You could, he's, what else do you want him to do? He's trying to remove it at this point. Or do you just want him to go die in a hole? And for you people who say, well, he should die in a hole because he fucked up. You are the motherfuckers who will never make it. Because if you do not learn to move the hell on, the people you network with, the people you are a part of, the people who are in your life will fucking hate you. Because you are the kind of person that no matter what they do, if they slip up and gain some weight, you're going to be on their ass and there's going to be nothing they can do until the weight's off. So it's going to be impossible to be around you because they can't even struggle around you. When your friend gets addicted to drugs and gets out of prison, you're going to be the kind of friend that say, like, but you went to prison. When a friend who sold drugs was a drug dealer and some people died using the drugs he sold that were laced and he tried to turn his life around after he gets out of prison, you'll be the friend who'll be like, but you still went there. It is what it is, brother. So, let me make this for my people who are overweight, struggling with addiction. Fuck those people who say that you can't hop in front of a camera. Fuck those people who say that you shouldn't put your face out in the public. Because we wouldn't do the same shit to somebody who was recovering from alcohol. We wouldn't do the same shit for somebody who's uh, recovering from an addiction. We wouldn't do the same shit for somebody who just got out of prison. We wouldn't do the same shit if a person who just got out of a gang. We wouldn't tell them to go fucking hide in a hole. The only difference between me and them is that you can see my addiction right here in front of your face, right? And some people, you can see it on their face and stuff if they have scabs. But I put myself out here every fucking day. I have made countless videos trying. I respect if I was myself, I respect me more for trying and dropping some weight and still trying to keep going. But I didn't stop showing up on this camera just because I'm still fat. I respect that more than somebody who decided, ah, because I'm still fat, I'm just not going to, I'm no longer, I have no use to this world. That's bullshit. That's what we call despair. When somebody falls into despair, like Judas did with Jesus, when he feels like he cannot change his life, even though he had a long way to come back from after betraying Jesus, he still could have came back. But instead, he hung himself. So if I shot myself in the fucking head right now because I couldn't lose the weight, what would they say then? I should Because I was too ashamed to show myself on camera or talk to anybody about it, I should just take my life? And I'm being serious with this shit. Because that's what some people do with their addictions. Some people just take their lives or they just give up. And what do we say about those people? Damn, if they just would have talked it out. Damn, if he would have just let me know. I let y'all know every day. My wife knows. My friends know. There is not a person around me today who doesn't know that I take this shit seriously. I don't joke. I don't go out in there and say, well, you know, nope. I get out there and I say, hey, I'm fucking struggling, man. I have to get myself to this point to do two hour cardio. And I'm still going to be fat tomorrow. And guess what? I'm going to be fat next week. And guess what? I'll be fat five months from now. But one day I won't be. But until then, y'all will see the entire journey up to this point. My channel is always going to be what can I change. And I'm always going to try. I'm always aware that I could die from my weight at any moment. That's why I started dropping weight in the first place. Because my friend died from his weight. And that's when I decided it's time to make a change with this. I, thought, I started taking it seriously, and I still take it seriously today. So, you guys let me know. You think I should just stop showing up on the camera? Unsubscribe, block me, never fucking come here again. You'll never have to worry about seeing my face again. But, if you want to see the journey, keep coming by.